All right. Now that I've got the turbo off and uh, the EGR is out, one there, one that was here, those are out. Um, let's get this other EGR out. There is a bolt right there on that bracket. Right there. Um, I'm going to get that out. It's kind of a bugger to get it out, but once you get it out, everything comes out real easy. Um, next step is to remove the um, fuel filter housing and the oil filter housing um, so we have a little bit of clearance so you can get the uh, turbos out. Uh, once you get the turbos out, which mine's right here, two pieces. Um, looks like there are threaded bolt holes here to hold this nice uh, gasket here tight but uh, I guess they don't come with them in it so came out in two pieces um, about 40 pounds each um, next just kind of clear everything away for you can get the intake here out on both sides just kind of get the, uh, the oil fill thing out of the way this uh, wire thing, I just kind of pulled it up out of the way here, and uh, you can see I still haven't removed the fan. Maybe we can do this without doing that, so uh, we'll find out. <laughs> um, as soon as you get all that out of the way and you get this off here, go ahead and take the exhaust manifolds off, one there and one on the other side. Just make sure uh, while you're doing all this stuff, spray them down with penetrating oil. That way they're not a pain in the ass to get out here in a little while. Um, and once you get the manifolds off and all that other stuff off on the other side, go ahead and start taking all these out. Um, they're interchangeable. There's not too high a mileage on them. Like this one has about 80,000 miles on it, so I'm not going to worry about the wear patterns on there. You don't have to. Um, I did a little bit of reading and said that they won't matter unless you're up well over 100,000 miles. Um, once you get all those out of the way, go ahead and take out all the head studs here and it should just come right out. Same with the other side. Um, now once you've done all this stuff and you um, make sure you, you know, you're in here, change out your um, coils, your, heat, your heating elements here. Um, while you're in there, get the good aftermarket ones. Um, about 16 bucks a piece for the good ones. Otherwise you can go back to stock. Uh, I like the aftermarket ones because they go a little bit hotter. A little bit easier starting in the uh, winter time, and um, just makes every little bit of difference for you. Now, I'm going ahead and I'm putting you know, the stock intercooler over there, doesn't weigh very much, and so I have plastic ends. And uh, here I got the uh, Matsumoto one with the tube kit all the sleeves and brackets here. Um, got the EGR delete kit, full kit with the tube. Um, got the full gasket kit by Victor. Um, also we're going to go ahead and we got the APR stud kit. Comes with all the studs, um, with the, the loop stuff you need, and also full instructions. Look at that. All the bolts, the washers, and the specs on how to torque them down. Now make sure you have a good sized torque wrench for that because it's about 225 pounds when they're all done. So, this, all this mess here, got to remember how it all goes back together. Also, uh, since I have the block torn apart and everything, we're going to go ahead, we're putting a 5 inch exhaust all the way back from the turbo back makes it a lot easier since there's really no room to get that pipe out. The uh, new pipe that comes with it fits in there nice and easy with the uh, head out there. So make it easier on yourself. You want some nice uh, raw sound and power and more air coming out of the engine because I got more air coming in the engine. Uh, let's go ahead and replace that while you're in there. Um, I get all my parts from USA Freedom Diesels out of Missoula, Montana. 
So a shout out to you guys. Isaac, he's been helping me out pretty good here lately. Um, crappy camera, can't really focus on that, but yeah, Missoula, Montana, or go to usafreedomdiesels.com and uh, they're really good at knowing what to do and what, hand, what to um, get you for the parts without charging you out the ass for them. Um, kind of simple tools, you know, you really only need just your basic sockets here, some of your quarter inch sockets just to get the smaller bolts out, um, and a nice uh, good wrench set uh, from Mac here, the, the good precision bits here, um, and some gloves, obviously I didn't use mine here lately, but the gloves are real nice to have when messing with the exhaust stuff, because that shit stains your hands for at least a week. Um, make sure you get some gloves. So, uh, here, make sure uh, you also drain the oil and things like that. Change the oil, because uh, when you're doing this stuff, there's a little bit of diesel fuel gets in the oil. You really don't want that in there. I've heard some bad things about diesel fuel and stuff in your oil. Not doing, not helping you out at all. So, um, also while you're in here, good idea to upgrade your Masamoto or your, your bank's uh, thermostats. Um, Let's go ahead and pull it off, replace it. I already did this one. Um, it's a good thing to do while you're in here. A lot less maintenance to do later on. And uh, make sure you put full synthetic oil back in this thing. A lot less uh, wear and tear on it with them nice full synthetic oils. So that's all I have for now, and we'll check back in a little bit.